Hey guys, today we're gonna to show you how we clean nozzles in the shop. Now a lot of the time you do need to use a fresh nozzle. If we're doing a print service or something, we'll just grab a brand new one. But do you need to replace them? Or can a lot of the time, can you get away with just cleaning your nozzle or refurbishing it? Today we're gonna to show you exactly how we do that here in the shop. So as you may have noticed, we have a blowtorch, we have a pair of pliers, a little wire brush, and a pair of tweezers, and a couple dirty nozzles. Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> oh, what do we have to do, Jay? All right, so uh, I like to use um, this needle nose to hold the, uh, the nozzle. Reason being because it's really hot. Um, yep, we're gonna get this thing red hot. Yep, we're gonna red heat hot. up the nozzle, drop it in the water, watch it explode. There we go. Get it hot. So you'll notice at a certain point, material inside the nozzle will start bubbling out. And that's before it turns red. But once you've got it heated up, and the whole nozzle starts to glow bright red, that's when you're gonna drop it in the water. What's gonna happen is the pressure from the boiling water is gonna force out a whole bunch of material that was down in there. Cook it real good. Cook it real good. <laughs> Come on. Nice and red. There we go. So the hotter you get it, the more it carbonizes everything right, inside. Right, exactly. Yeah. You basically want to turn everything inside into little flakes. And then you drop it in if it's not fused. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, baby, look yeah. at that. All right, now you'll notice down in here, there's a bunch of little black gunk and carbonized stuff and everything. So we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna check to see if it's clear. Sometimes it's not fully clear the first time. Never be afraid to run it again. And generally, no, this won't mess up the, um, the tolerances and everything on the nozzle. If it's a 0.4 nozzle, you know, unless you're squeezing it really hard, it's not gonna deform it. We get some people that are concerned about Oh, you know, it's not going to be as strong anymore. Yeah, we're squeezing hot plastic through it. We're not, you know, putting 10,000 pounds of force on it. So it should be fine most of the time. Um, as a note, this does work for brass, hardened steel, regular steel, and other materials. So what are you doing now, Jay? Yeah, just cleaning it with uh, the needle, um, the plier here, or um, tweezer. Get everything off. Getting in there, scraping anything yep. out that you can get to. That I can feel. Yeah, try to get everything out. out and then I mean ultimately you should be able to see a light through the nozzle which is there Perfect. yeah you see it yeah sweet yep yep there. loud and clear yep so you could burn this out again and drop it again just to get any extra crap out of there optionally you can use a ultrasonic cleaner which takes like a water and, and vibrates it really really high frequency and just will help get any extra gunk off there most of the time, that's all you need. You're good to go. You can wipe it off, dry it off, stick it back in your printer, and start printing again. Uh, when you're spending, you know, 10 to 20 bucks a nozzle, it's not that big a deal, but if you're a hobbyist, that might be a big deal, and this will help you get more out of your nozzles. Now, once again, if we're doing a print service for a client or something of that nature, generally, we'll just get a new nozzle, because it's like 10 bucks, and that's not that big a cost to ensure that it's perfectly clean and there's no gunk coming out and getting into the part that might affect the structural integrity or anything like that. Um, Jay, any more tips? Uh, that's about it. Yeah, that's pretty easy to, to do to clean the, the nozzle. Yeah, be careful, don't burn yourself. It's kind of dangerous, uh, but definitely give this a shot. Uh, let us know if it works for you. Uh, if you got any questions or anything, leave them in the comments below. Hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And as always, have a positive rest of your day. We'll see you on the next video.